All right, guys, I did something really fantastic, a huge time saver, and I'm quite annoyed that I didn't do this before. So I created a template to place TV screens, floating TV screens inside uh, Unreal and Eximetry. It's just a matter of dropping it into Unreal and dropping it into Eximetry. And then you can just control the position and the animation in and out of the screen and also put video on it and, you know, have slight movement of it as well. And uh, I use it all the time and I figure I show you how, how it's uh, made up. And uh, also you can download the finished product on my Patreon and uh, then you just drop, drop it in. So for today's showcase, uh, here's uh, an Unreal map that I managed to import and relight and rebuild uh, f from Counter-Strike Go. And it's uh, quite cool, actually. We're going to do some cool eSport things with this. So, but we're talking about the screen. So, uh, I first just going to import it uh, into my project. So this is, if you download it from Patreon, just unzip it and put it into the content folder of your project. And then we should have it here. So, floating screen. It's uh, nothing spectacular, actually. It's just a blueprint uh, that looks like this. So, we have, we have some mesh uh, for, uh, for the screen. Uh, and we also have a pre-made... Uh, you know, get the symmetry video tags. So it's just getting the uh, video, and I also have a set act to transform on the event tick. And this makes it useful because then I can control everything and animate it from axiometry, which is fantastic. Uh, and of course, we have uh, the material uh, where I can control emission, etc. If we need to, uh, and uh, that's about that. There's loads of tutorials on how to create a TV screen. That's not what I uh, want this tutorial to be about. It's more about the symmetry side, but uh, this is good to have as a you know a template. So I just, if we create a new project, I just drop it in if I'm about to use a floating screen. So let's uh, drop this one in and place it somewhere good, maybe around here. Uh, and then what you do is uh, cook it. What do you do when Unreal cooks? Let me know in the comments. I usually, uh, you know, do a bit of s Swedish snoozing. And uh, also do a lot of TikTok right now, which is super strange for a guy in his mid 30s. But uh, a lot of good VFX stuff going on there. Uh, let's see how it's cooking. It's coming along nicely. Uh, quick tip to make it cook faster. I always, always, always go into packaging, scroll down. Uh, maybe it looks uh, looks like this when you come into packaging. And then you put the little, uh, <laughs> put your mouse on the arrow and go like this and scroll down. Oops, it's freezed a bit. And then look at list of maps to include in a package build. And then you just select the map you're working on, then it's just compiling everything that's needed for that, for that map, not everything else. Because sometimes you just drag in assets and you download things from Unreal Marketplace and you build stuff and you, you know, it gets crowded quickly and it's a lot, lot of, you know, assets to process. Uh, so in this way, it goes way, way quicker. All right, so it's finished. Let's jump into Eximetry. So here we have the same scene uh, once more. Let's make it a bit bigger. Can you see that? Yes, you can. And you can hear me as well. Good. So uh, uh, where is the... 
we should have uh, let's see we need to update this one so uh, and as per usual when you add the transformation node to uh, any object in Unreal uh, so it gets the transformation for next symmetry it will be at zero first so we probably need to find uh, that screen it should be somewhere okay let's let's do like this uh, we have the floating TV transform here so let's just scale it ah there it is perfect so now we know where it is uh, now it's just a matter of moving it into position and I know I only did the map where where are we we need to find where we should be and I think it's yeah it's over here here's the map uh, here's the area we want to concentrate on so let's usually I just scale everything up so I can find it and then we move it slowly over the right area and then put it down scale it back and then we can move back into position so something like this and we can rotate it as you see now we don't have any video on it yet uh, but we will soon all right so the uh, the monitor is in position let's uh, add my smart little compound and see what it does so i i have it here the floating tv compound and uh, you can download this on the patreon but it's super easy to set up so uh, i will show you how it's done you maybe have to pause the video a bit but so it's coming in like this uh the first thing we want to talk about is how it works so i have uh, a few things going on here if you look to the right uh, we have the animate trigger which triggers uh, the in and out animation that i prepared and then you have transformation to be able to move it around in the world and then i have uh, one two three four video slots uh, but usually I just prepared it like that and you can use it but I just uh, use the video one and add a video switcher outside then we have animation type I have two types uh, it's coming in from above uh, or it can scale up I figure out that that's the only ones I really use so uh, but you can add more of course and one neat thing I added also also is when it when the monitor is still uh, I can add a, f a little bit or you know noise rotation so it kind of you know floats a bit which makes some interesting dynamic in a static shot uh, also you can set the speed so uh, let's start with plugging in uh, our example video so uh, here's some gameplay from counter-strike go add it to video one uh, and to make things easier uh, so we can quickly trigger it I drag this to all the way to the left side which gives me a button down here so add this to video out the floating screen video and add the transformation out so since we already have some transformation here let's see what happens add it to floating TV oh it comes like that perfect let's scale it up a bit so now you can't see it it's because it's in the starting position it's animated out so if i trigger animate it will animate in like so and if i trigger it again it will animate out it's quite quite effective and of course uh when it's in the uh in the correct position i pr can position it where i want something like this and we can also, if I go closer, we can look at what happens if I add the movement, mo movement, movement. So I add rotate. As you can see, it slowly moves a bit. And this, you can configure this inside the compound in any way you want, but let's not use it for now. 
And let's have a look at the scale. Scale is like that, and animate in. Whoop. 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 Pretty cool. I don't know. Don't use it that much. Mo mostly use the above. Anyway. And you do the cool thing is you can whoop whoop. So it it's fail proof. So let's look inside the compound. Edit compound in place and go in. So it's a few things going on here. Uh, I'm gonna do like this so you can get a full view. Let's open it up a bit so you can see it better maybe. Like so. So of course we have the video going in. It's just into switcher. We could just go straight out. We don't really need to go inside here, but I prepared it if, if I want to do some changes. Uh, and then I have a pin collator. Uh, let's see how how it looks. So I that's pretty interesting. That's the code I did of the pin collector, the enum dollar sign enum comma animation type comma about comma scale. So animation type is the name of it, and it goes into the switch transformation, which just switches between one or two values. And it switch. This is the on. This no no okay. The animation type goes into this switch transformation, and it just switches between the scale or the above. And as you can see, we have the above animation here and the scale animation, and it's just a matter of a simple position sequencer. Uh, and to be able to trigger in it, we go from animate into a copy trigger, because there's a few things going on there. I trigger the sequencer at the same time, depend and it's just using, depending on the switch, it's deciding if it's going to use the above or scale animation. And then I have a toggle, so every time I trigger it, it will toggle the sequencer to go backwards. So the next time I press the toggle, it will go backwards. And if I press it again, it will go forwards. So it just toggles between backwards and forwards. And also, of course, we have the speed, just a regular copy scaler, so I can set the speed on the animations. Uh, and it goes in from the sequencer, it goes into sequencer node and into the switch transformation. This is where we switch from above or scale from the front page. And uh, from this uh, transformation, it goes into a transform concat. And this is so I can set the position. And regardless of which position I set it in, uh, it still will do the up and down moment. So if you decide that you want to uh, go a bit higher or lower, this is where you set the, you know, how high you want to animate the TV screen. And the same in scale. If you want to scale it up or scale it, uh, scale it s smaller. And of course, uh, adding on to the transform con concat, it goes into another concat. Depending if we wanted to have the rotation or not, it will just add the rotation uh, noise to it. And to make everything really, really soft, the last thing I do is add a smooth transformation. Uh, and I just liked you know, the easiness of it. And it goes into a C node just to, uh, you know, carry the data into a vector out. So that's pretty much it. And it's a, it's a huge, it's, it's a small thing, but it's a huge time saver. So now I don't need to start every project with, you know, animating a TV because almost all my projects <laughs> want to have an animated TV inside it. <laughs> Understood that. And, uh, let me know in the comments if you uh, have some tips or tricks on other, you know, things that I can create to save time or if you need help creating something. 
that would be uh, really cool. And uh, just be sure to help me with, you know, whatever content you want to see. Uh, let me know in the comments and I will try to uh, do that. And as always, be sure to like and comment and uh, check out the Patreon if you're too lazy to do this yourself. I know I am. So cool. See you later.